everyone and thank you so much for watching. So today I decided to make you the perfumes I worn the most in 2018. I was thinking I was gonna do it in the beginning 2018 but I'm thinking I'm gonna post this before Christmas in case you want to do a gift of a perfume to someone. So um, yeah I'm just gonna describe you the vibe of the perfume overall and you're gonna see it's gonna be pretty easy. So I chose 10 actually. So there is everything. There is for spring, fall, winter, but I'm gonna go in all these details with you. So let me start by a perfume I discovered three days ago. And I wore it non-stop, I went to the shop to try it. So it's not the most worn, but it's one of the ones that I discovered this year. You know what I mean. And I only have the tester for that one. All the other ones are full bottles. This is Olympia from Paco Rabanne. I will put your links of every perfumes in the down bar below. So this perfume, I never was interested in it. I never even smelt it before I did a video where I was testing testers. And to me, it smells like salted caramel. The only sweet I like, because I don't like sweets. The only sweet I like is salted caramel and probably because it's salted. And it smells like this with flowery notes to me. Uh, I never, never tried it before because it's just too gimmicky. Like seriously, why do they do these adverts for perfumes? It's like, I feel like adverts for perfumes are really unnecessary, like at all, they're not necessary. They literally like categorize, like Olympia, it reminds kind of like Rome time, like Greece, and there's like just a girl with a crown, like how do you want to identify to that? Like for all the perfumes, I mean for Alien is crap, for Aura is crap. I don't know, I just don't like. Like they give a vibe to the perfume that is not the vibe of the perfume in my opinion. I feel like everyone perceives perfumes differently and uh, I don't think it's nice to put an image on a perfume. Do you think I'm crazy to think that? Or like the only perfume advert I really, really like is the Chanel number no. five. I will add a little clip. Passport, s'il vous so yeah, this is gorgeous, like this is gorgeous. It made me want, to, but it, do you see in this case, the advert was amazing, but I don't like Chanel number no. five. So yeah, I think it's more mature. Maybe I will like it later. So basically, Paco Rabanne Olympia, I really, really like it. I also tried the intense version today, which I liked it less, if I'm honest. I think it was less intense than the original. It's just my opinion, huh? Again, guys, it's just my opinion. And uh, I will buy the full bottle of it for sure. I really, really love it. To me, like salted caramel with some white florals. Amazing perfume. Yeah, gourmand, gourmand perfume. So, yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna go with Aura from Thierry Mugler. So this perfume I would recommend to people who like original stuff. Like it smells like a little bit bitter, green and vanilla. It's very, very interesting perfume because it's like original. It's for, like seriously, it's original. You, you smell not good with it, you smell strange. But um, it's sweet, but not sickening sweet, but I really, really love it. Like seriously, go smell it. I know a lot of people hate it. So it's one of those I wouldn't blend by if I'm honest. So yeah. Then one I would blind by is this one, Pure Poison from Dior. I use this only in springtime. It's a white floral, only, like it's a floral perfume. Usually I'm not too much into floral perfumes, but they still have deep animalic notes. So it's a floral perfume with some character and I really, really like it. Uh, it's almost finished, even the color turn, but it still smells the same. It's just amazing. Go smell it for yourself. It's really had something about it. And also, I would like um, try it on your skin, but I think you can blind buy it if I'm honest. Blind buy it. Because it is so amazing. Like, literally, I absolutely love it. So, I have in all the styles, as you can tell, because this is very not comparable to the other one. And you know, me and my mom have really, really different tastes in perfume, and she really, really likes it. Then, I have Aqua di Parma Oud. Uh, 
I wouldn't like I used it a lot this year for mixing when I think that a perfume is missing of a deeper note or I just want to add a wood note which is basically it. it's just a wood note a fresh wood uh, if I want to freshen up and wood up wood up if you say that and I want to add some wood to a perfume I just mix it with my other perfumes I rarely have been wearing this alone then to continue with oud, I have a limited edition one, sorry, but like I'm almost done, like literally, look. And it was like almost full at the beginning of the year. So uh, this is Alien Oud. I really like the original Alien, but I didn't wear it too much this year. Alien Oud is amazing, like it smells of Alien mixed with Oud. It's literally that and it's amazing. I have two backups, if you can find it and you love Alien and you love Oud, buy it, you will love it. Like literally, it's very, very nice. Yep, very, very oriental. Let me just also precise that usually my type of perfume is sexy, deep, oriental, original perfumes. I don't like usual perfumes. I like unusual perfumes. I like this unusual notes here and there, so yeah. Then I have YSL Manifesto. So this is like, kind of like, let's say a cousin to a black opium from Yves Saint Laurent. But it's better. It's more oriental, more oriental. And uh, I wore it in Marrakesh. And uh, it's like vanilla sweet, but it's not as sweet. And it's just more original, more womanly and sexy. I think that this one uh, also becomes more original as you wear it. So yeah, definitely would recommend that. Should I stop saying would definitely recommend that? Seriously. And also stop saying seriously. Okay, then I have Jasmine Noir Renaissance. This to me gives the same vibe as Manifesto that I just showed you. But it's a little bit different. It's less sweet. It's a jasmine perfume with exotic oriental notes. It's very, really dark, but I think it's daytime appropriate. It's less festive than Manifesto. Um, this would suit a lot of people. I see a brunette wearing this for some reason. I don't see a blonde girl wearing this. But... No offense if you're blonde and you're wearing it, okay? So, um, yeah, I really, really like this one or the original. Both are very, very good. They're just, they're a little bit different, but not that much in my opinion. Then I have some, some a perfume that everyone doesn't like, usually. Uh, so it's Lush Last. It's a very, very strong Jasmine perfume. I absolutely love Jasmine. Like, I love Jasmine. Uh, Alien has a lot of Jasmine in it. It's a sunbag jasmine. It's really, really oriental. It's something you wouldn't smell every day. But uh, I don't like perfumes you would smell every day, so perfect. And uh, yeah, I almost finished the bottle. I would repurchase it. I mix it with perfumes. Like, I mix it with jasmine perfumes to make them more extreme. You know what I mean? To go the extra mile. So, yeah. Love that. And it's very, 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 very affordable. If you like jasmine, I would definitely try this one. Then I have another perfume that I use only for mixing or going to the gym. It's Eccentric Molecules, Eccentric 01. It looks like that. I have to always put the dis the dis this disclaimer, but I feel like it's necessary because I always get comments. It was sheer, the color in the beginning, like transparent, like water. Now it's yellow, but it still smells the same. So this is just like a kick. It's strange. This for me is more for mixing. It's just add more of a masculine cologne vibe to your perfumes. Again, if you think a perfume is not original enough, I put this on top. Today I'm wearing Manifesto mixed with this and it's amazing. I really, really like it. I have also the other one. The This is Eccentric 01 and I have Molecule 01 or 02, I don't remember. And uh, yes, they're so, so handy and they are nice if you want also to smell quite discreet. I think no one could not like it. And it's one of the perfumes I definitely wore the most this year. I talk so fast and so much, it's like unreal. <laughs> I, maybe I should talk more slowly because people make fun of my accent sometimes. Stop it, guys. I speak three languages, please. Uh, English is my least good language and still... Don't lie, you understand me, okay? Then I have L'Ombre des Merveilles of... Hermes. I really, really like this perfume. It's really, really fall vibes. It has 
it has like some animatic notes it's oriental but not too much for me it's perfect for fall i don't know how to explain but for me it is the odor of the skin of someone like you wouldn't even tell if you wear this for a while you wouldn't even think it's a perfume you would just think that this person was like on the markets all day like in a nice hot country that it also smells a little bit like uh you know how your skin smells when it develops melanin when you went in the sun and yeah that's what i think about this perfume i absolutely love it it's amazing it's amazing it's amazing okay guys these were all the perfumes that i wear all season together this year uh i hope you have like ideas for christmas to offer it or to your aunt, to your neighbor, to your mother, to your granddaughter, to whatever. And thank you so much for watching. I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye.